The Philippines is a Southeast Asian country of over 7,500 islands. The northernmost island is only 52.8 kilometers from the southern tip of Taiwan, separated by the Basha Channel. It is our closest neighbor. The Philippines has among the highest birth rates in Southeast Asia. Its population is expected to surpass 150 million in the middle of the century. A happy society is well fed. The Philippines may find this goal out of reach as population growth brings urgent food security challenges to the country. Accordingly, the Filipino government is reorienting policy goals to achieve food security and poverty alleviation. In 2020, leaders proposed a new agenda targeting agricultural transition and reform. The Farm and Fisheries Clustering and Consolidation Program strengthens cooperation between target businesses and supporting industries by supporting agricultural clusters with joint production and marketing capabilities. With this approach, Filipino agriculture is transitioning into a consolidated, modernized, industrialized, and professionalized stage. Given Taiwan's agriculture-oriented technologies and development experience, the two governments agreed for the Taiwan ICDF to dispatch a technical mission to the Philippines. Now, Taiwan can provide direct guidance to local farmers. The mission's first initiative was the AgriCluster Consolidation and Cooperation Project. The project set a new milestone for Taiwanese-Filipino technical cooperation in agriculture, while also letting mentored farmers see the benefits for themselves. The concept of F2C2 is very much aligned with the TTM's goal of really consolidating and clustering farmers. In the past, farmers worked at the mercy of the elements, and those in the Philippines were no exception. The Taiwan Technical Mission built a smart demonstration farm with steel greenhouses and environmental controls to teach farmers how to cope with the region's frequent typhoons. The mission also shared Taiwan's disaster prevention techniques and adaptation technologies for the benefit of local farmers and farmer organizations. The Philippines referenced these experiences while developing policies for climate resilient agriculture. Furthermore, the project demonstrated many crop cultivation techniques tailored to the Philippines market demand, which increased crop production and quality. The mission also promoted Taiwan's stress-resistant crop varieties, increasing local crop diversity and strengthening the resilience of Filipino farmers to extreme weather. In addition to providing cultivation technologies, the Taiwan Technical Mission also selected priority farmers for guidance together with the Department of Agriculture of the Philippines. The mission analyzed their practices in pest control, price control, smart agriculture, nutrient management, and internal administration, and then provided recommendations for improvement. The mission arranged training and lecture courses based on the farmer's actual development needs, and introduced simple machines and facilities from Taiwan to improve production efficiency. My chili pepper production uh, increased about 200% because of new knowledge and technologies. Using past success from Taiwanese production and marketing groups, the Taiwan Technical Mission helped consolidate agricultural clusters in the Philippines. It also guided the clusters to integrate their resources and build a resilient disaster reduction system. The public sector improved agricultural promotion, driving industrial development. These outcomes aligned with Filipino policy goals for agricultural transition and reform. We will assist the Taiwanese team from TTM in uh, going around and uh, assessing these uh, cooperatives for their assistance that, will, that they will be given. Going forward, the Taiwan Technical Mission will continue providing assistance through the Taiwan model, harnessing Taiwan's technical capabilities in agriculture to meet the Philippines' development needs. We will hold to our core value of being a people-based aid organization and become a key partner in the Philippines' agricultural development.